morning 7 o'clock i was in the farm enjoying that half a acre of navra and then i went back to my home the person working in the farm called me over a telephone and said sir the entire field now is uh, green namaskar so whenever we think of soil we say matr bhumi right so motherland soil is mother it gives us all that any mother can do can give any human being across the world the standard of soil has gone down i can give varieties of example from my own organic farming initiatives that i have taken a couple of years before we had a very very uh, intense incessant rains and flooding my farm is completely a organic farm and the adjacent fields had used chemi- chemical fertilizers the crops were drowned for 3 days after 3 days when the water level sub- receded the crops that were grown in my farm the organic farm stood like a king and the growth was phenomenal after that while that which was a part of the fertilizer chemical fertilizer farm completely the crops died so this is the strength the soil offers to the plant the basic nutrients essentially gives the resistance to flooding this is something like you know building a physics right so the nutrients are very very important and soil is the most important uh, parameter that defines the health of this plant soil is also something that gives the taste in organically cultivated rice today the taste is different let me tell you a very interesting uh, incident that happened in my farm i used to grow a particular uh, paddy called navra navra is used for lot of medicines it is used for like say navrakiri is used for some type of ayurvedic massage and many things it also also lot of medicinal value and it looks like gold right so morning 7 o'clock i was in the farm enjoying that half a acre of navra and then i went back to my home the person working in the farm called me over a telephone and said sir the entire field now is uh, green you must come and look at it and he said come quickly so i rushed back from my home to the farm and i found more than 500 parrots eating the grain and they never went to the next farm which had chemical fertilizer so the tongue of or whatever the sense of taste for a parrot they can understand it's an organic fertilizer organically grown paddy or a fertilizer grown paddy that's a, that's that's what you know nature teaches us soil is extremely important and people have to go into organic farming personally in my family i have lost two of my very young cousins they were all teetotalers no bad habits they eat very home prepared food both of them i lost because of cancer and the only reason i can attribute for that no genetics no no hereditary nothing the only reason i could uh, i could assign for that is the slow poison that we consume on a daily basis by taking this inorganically grown food for an organic farming the soil has to be strong it takes at least 6 years it took at least 6 years for me to convert my inorganic farm into an organic farm and this requires lot of effort and lot of patience and we should start saving that soil from becoming totally uh, chemical oriented and not in a position to yield the good food that we deserve to have after all we all earn for that 6 inch stomach and let us fill it up with good organic food so this is a wonderful initiative we have to save our soil and that is a must and i wish all the team great success and whatever way i as an individual and iit madras as an institution can contribute to this we are always open and we look forward to have a great world with very healthy soil thank you very much